master strategies to prove by the method of induction. Here is a variation to our square root question, which is very challenging and is seen in IB test papers. I hope you understand and appreciate the method. Enjoy the journey of learning with Anil Kumar. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Here is another very beautiful question based on the mathematical induction method to prove. We need to show that 1 plus 1 over square root 2 plus 1 over square root 3 plus so on till 1 over square root n is greater than 2 times square root of n plus 1 minus 1 for all values of n which are non-negative integers and where n is greater than or equal to 1. You can pause the video answer the question. Let me first thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos, posting excellent comments and suggestions, and making great contributions. Because of you and your questions, we are able to today provide quality education worldwide absolutely free for last 15 years 17,000 plus videos and more than 80 countries these videos are being watched with 360,000 subscribers thank you once again your contributions help us to produce quality material regularly almost one video per day that is a minimal and that too real test questions which help our students to be on the top. So, if you want to be a leader in maths, join us. And in case you want to learn directly from me, feel free to send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. The questions we discuss here are only seen in test papers, not normally. Perfect. So, let's see how do we prove by the method of induction. So, let's first understand what is this method of induction. So, it's a very beautiful method in which we have three steps. First one, we need to show that it works for, show that it works for n equals to the lower limit, right? So, the lowest is 1, n equals to 1. This is the first part. Second, assume it is true for n equals to k any value k in general an important part here is that to prove it will work for n equals to k plus 1 so if we assume that the formula works for n equals to k and then we prove that it also works for the next term k plus 1 then it works for each and every term you get the idea so with this we produce many beautiful formulae of series and also we solve many inequalities this time we have an inequality to prove perfect so First step itself sometimes can be challenging as it is for this particular question. So let's begin with the very first step which is to show that it works for n equals to 1. So if I take the first term here, it is just 1 and I need to show that this is greater than 2 times within brackets square root of 1 plus 1 substituting n as 1 minus 1, right? So that is what I need to show, which is 1 is greater than 2 times square root of 2 minus 1. This is what I need to show. How will I do this? Well, look here. A very neat method of doing is to rationalize square root of 2 minus 1, right? So, let's work on this right hand side, which is 2 times 
square root of 2 minus 1. So, I could actually rationalize this multiplying and dividing by square root of 2 plus 1, right? So, what do I get? I get 2 times the numerator will be 2 minus 1 and the denominator will be square root 2 plus 1, correct? So, which is 2 over square root of 2 plus 1, makes sense? Now, see, square root of 2 is greater than 1. So, this is less than 1, correct? Makes sense, right? So, the denominator is more than 2 and therefore, when I divide 2 by this, so hence, since the right hand side is less than 1, we have proved, right? So, hence this inequality is true. So, 1 is greater than 2, which is over square root 2 plus 1, correct? We have shown that. So, we have proven that this is true for n equals to 1. Is that clear? Perfect. So, first part we have done and now let us do the part 2, which is we will assume that this statement is true for n equals to k. That is to say, 1 plus 1 over square root 2 plus 1 over square root 3 plus so on till 1 over square root k is greater than 2 times square root of k plus 1 minus 1. Let us say this is true. Now, what do we need to show? We need to show that 1 plus 1 over square root 2 plus 1 over square root 3 plus so on till 1 over square root k plus 1 is greater than 2 times square root of k plus 1 plus 1 becomes 2, right? Minus 1. This is what we need to prove. Is that clear to you? How do we do so? That is what we are going to now look at, right? So, what we can do here is that we know that this is true, right? So, what we need to do is to add 1 over k plus 1, right? So, basically, what we will do here is that 1 plus 1 over square root 2 plus 1 over square root 3 plus so on till 1 over k which is square root plus 1 over square root k plus 1. We need to show that this is greater than 2 times square root of k plus 2 minus 1, right? Now, this part here is known to be greater than 2 times k plus 1 minus 1, right? So, we could rewrite this as 2 times square root of k plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 over square root of k plus 1 is greater than 2 times square root of k plus 2 plus 1, correct? This is what we need to prove, correct? Perfect. So, now we know all terms here are positive. Radicals are always, square roots are always positive. So, now if I multiply this with the common denominator, what do I get? Well, here is very interesting thing. When you multiply 2 with minus 1 and 2 with, this is also minus 1. So, these two can be simplified a bit. So, we can rewrite this as 2 times square root of k plus 1 plus 1 over square root of k plus 1 is greater than 2 times square root of k plus 2, correct? Since we have common terms here, minus 1 and minus 1 times 2, they will cancel, right? Okay. Now, let us take the multiply everything by square root k plus 1, which is greater than 1. So, we get 2 times k plus 1, right? 
plus 1 greater than 2 times square root of k plus 2 times square root of k plus 1. Correct? So, let us open this bracket. We get 2k plus 2 plus 1 is greater than 2 times square root of multiply all this, right? So, we get k square plus k plus 2k is 3k, right? Plus 2, right? So, when you expand it, this is what you get. Now, this is 2k plus 2 plus k, uh, 2k plus 2 plus 1, which is 3, is greater than 2 times square root of k square plus 3k plus 2. Let me take it to the next page. We are going to square both sides, right? And check if it is true or not, right? So, so what do we have here? We have 2k plus 3 greater than, and we are going to square it, right? greater than 2 times, we will square this also and within the square root we have k square plus 3k plus 2, right, let us square them. So, if you square them, you get 4k square plus 2ab means 4 times 3, 12k, right, 9 greater than 4 times k square plus 3k plus 2, correct. So, we have 4k square plus 12k plus 9 greater than, open the bracket, 12k plus 8. Do you see the difference? So, this 9 is greater than 8 and therefore, proved that it is true for n equals to k plus 1. Do you see that? Therefore, we have shown that this inequality is true, right? Hence, we have 1 plus 1 over square root 2 plus 1 over square root 3. So, by the method of induction, we have shown that this formula really works, right? Is that clear to you? So, that is how we can do it. So, in this series, we have taken up many examples where we have exploited this method of induction. We will also extend it for different examples. Follow our playlist. You will be in a position to really understand the topic. In case you want to learn from me directly, feel free to send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Our students are right on the top and we can be part of your success story. Thank you and thanks again for your donations and contributions. Keep contributing. Enjoy our channel which is indeed your channel. Thank you and all the best.